Hey folks, Phil Beeman here. I thought it'd be uh, just a bit of a follow-up on uh, what happens with these colonies we've united using the paper method. So I got a couple of them here to look at. Um, so you can see that we had a, a strong colony. We put a sheet of paper, the queen excluder, and then the weak colony on top. This one was marked in the winter as being slow to take feed. What's that? That's what that green tape means. So we did this a uh, week before last. Uh, so I thought now that we're back here again, let's have a look at what we have. This one's still looking a little ragged. Definitely getting into the patty a little bit. Sounds a little loud. So we're just going to have a quick look at what we have here. I'm not seeing any sign of eggs here. Nope. Okay, so that's uh, that one didn't work out. That probably means that that hive's problem was the queen, right? The reason it was weak was because the queen was no good. So we've we've got that figured out and so now we're just going to take this queen excluder right out of there take the tag off and so now those those bees are united into one hive and they can they'll become a, a strong single hive instead of a good double. So nothing's really lost here. Um, it'd be better if the queen was good, but that's okay. Let's check the next one. I think that looks a little bit more successful. You can see by the way the strips were and the patty is that there was probably just a couple frames there when we uh, united this before. There's just a whole frame of larvae and eggs there. So now we have one, two, three, and yeah, this hive was formerly just able to just barely cover that and now it's expanding the brood nest right out to the edges of the honey. So this one's, I would say, quite successful. And when we lift the box up, you can see that they've gotten quite ambitious about getting that paper out of there. And uh, that's also a bit of a symptom of success. So we'll just leave that. We'll let it, there's some cold weather coming next week, apparently. <laughs> So we're, these uh, weak hives are going to weather that out, sitting on top of their much warmer friends. And then once that's behind us, then we'll probably lift these boxes off and establish them at a new apiary site. That's it. Have a great day.